this is the box it came in. Um, it's a little bit damaged from water damage, but um, the actual content was dry. It obviously states all the features. Uh, you have a little booklet, an instruction manual. Um, it was neatly and safely wrapped, so nothing got um, wet or damaged. You obviously have to take all the, um, all the wrapping, all the plastic foil, foil off it before you start. And this is the dust bin container for if you only use it as a vacuum cleaner. Um, but I don't. I strictly bought it for the for the uh, floor mopping. So you get your spare filter, your spare mop, and your spare um, brushes. So you get your manual where it obviously talks about parts of it what is what, how to set it all up, how to um, put it all together before the first use, how to set up a docking station, you've got all the instructions on how to charge it is very important, the first and second charge, you've got the programs and at the end of it you have the app setup which is quite interesting because it's an external app. Um, but uh, it was interesting for me to, to figure it out and you'll see it at the end of the clip how to do it. This is my docking station so I'm not sticking strictly to what it says but it's working for me for both of my vacuum cleaner and the mop. Um, so here it is, um, my genie at work. I'm just talking about how he's actually um, working in, uh, I'm putting him on, on the program called um, Smart and he basically just goes uh, zigzag back and forth. He remembers where he already mopped which is amazing. This is my funny setup but basically I just can't let him go on the carpets uh, and rugs because for some reason even though it says it's a smart one and recognizes it, I still felt the carpet a bit damp after his um, uh, after he climbed on it so I've decided I'm just not going to let him there there is a big area for him to clean anyway so it doesn't really matter but as you can see uh, he he maps it all out on the app you will see in just a minute there will be a photo of it what he's uh, just done it's pretty impressive actually um, how he um, navigates around things. Um, I obviously make it as easy as possible because if I'm not there I don't want him to get stuck. Uh, he did get stuck yesterday as I was um, figuring it out and he <laughs> sent a message on the app um, that he got stuck. He, he does a pretty good job. Here is a shot of the wet floor and how shiny it is. He does clean really well. He obviously can't really go around big heavy um, stains and, and get it really uh, neatly off but he does a good job overall. This is the mop part after he finished. Um, this is how you take it off. You're supposed to just rinse it in um, soapy water or detergent water and let it dry, air dry. Um, it's pretty dirty, my floor was dirty. The water container, actually, surprisingly, he did not use all the water. There was a little bit of rubbish uh, where he obviously vacuums before he mops, just seconds before. So there's a bit of rubbish, you have to get rid of that and, and tip the water out. Um, he um, did quite a good job considering I did not uh, hoover before he started. To work. That was the set, the picture of the app. Uh, so as you can see, I'm just showing you where he went, and he kind of painted this little layout of our house. This is how we set up the app. You go into your app store, search up Smart Life. The first app that pops up is the one you want to pick. You install it. Once it's installed. It will ask you some questions and set up a, a profile which you can edit at the bottom right because it just picked a random name for me so I had to change it to my name and um, you just can put a photo if you want, you can 
connect to Google Assistant or your Alexa. You go to your home and you can set up all your rooms. If you have other devices, it was very helpful. You can navigate the whole lot from this app. Then you go in to add a new device and you're adding in manually. Uh, you search up, go down on the left hand side to small appliances, you scroll down to where you see the robotic vacuum, you pick the one with Wi-Fi underneath. And then you connect it to your Wi-Fi, you put your password, you press on your um, robot, uh, the little Wi-Fi sign, it starts beeping. Once it does, you press continue and it will find it. Um, once it finds it, it goes through the process and there it is set up. Click on to the little picture. You can edit all the details. You can add a different photo. Um, you can change its name. As you can see, I've got an original one, Genie. <laughs> and you do all your settings or setups you can share it with others whatever pleases you um, then you go to your main page of that of that device here is where he paints a little layout of the house you have all the programs at the bottom of it you have the charge on it don't suggest yourself too much because it doesn't actually show the right charge in settings, you can change the setting of your water distribution. I had it on low yesterday, on high today, and it really made a difference being on high. You have all your data of his cleaning, obviously. I've tried all different programs, that's why there is so much of it. I must say the manual does not work at all on the app. And from what I've seen, it doesn't work on the remote either, but Having said that, I haven't installed the remote yet. I haven't put it. Um, I just don't want to because my son wants to play with the remote and he thinks he's actually um, making the robot move where he wants him to. So I just let him, I'm telling him that I didn't put the batteries in it. Um, but overall, super satisfied with this. Uh, for the price, um, it was kind of a blind guess. Um, because we got it as a, um, we had to use our points uh, in Maya uh, and I could not be more happy with the work it does. I cannot be happy with it, the way it works is fantastic. I'm only ever going to use the uh, smart um, program because it basically does the whole room and then he moves to the next area and the next area and he he just does the whole lot you can see where he's gone he is very thorough when it comes to covering the area and um, if he gets stuck or if there's any issue he sends you a notification to the app on your phone which is amazing because i was outside i wasn't at home when he got stuck yesterday and I just, yeah, I just knew he stopped and I went and fixed it. Um, the only thing I'm not very happy about is more like the working of the app, which is if he stops, I didn't seem to be able to just reset him to go back to work. It looks like he just always starts from the beginning on the app, if you know what I mean. So he forgets where he is already cleaned but I think it's something that I need to figure out. There seems to be so much on other robots that are available in America, but this little gem, My Genie, is, is I think only available here in Australia. So um, this is my honest review. I'm definitely not sponsored. <laughs> we just had some points to use at Maya and, and we just went for it. And I'm really, really happy we did. Um, thanks for watching, till next time.